I made a video previously about Kyle Trask and his propensity to throw the ball behind his receivers when they're wide open. This is not to say that he isn't productive or that their offense isn't good. I will say that this does leave some yardage on the field for the University of Florida, and it makes me wonder what his ceiling is against elite competition. And I'm going to try to explore some plays from the Arkansas game in today's video, but if you don't know who I am, my name is Brian Glaze. I'm a college football content creator here on YouTube. And I like to get into some details and break down certain concepts, you know, just so everybody can enjoy and understand the game of football a little bit more. So if you enjoy that or that's something that you would like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications and turn on the notifications in your phone settings as well to make sure that you get those notifications. But anyway, these plays that I'm going to show you are from the Arkansas game and stick around for the last play where I actually showed Kyle Trask some love for a nice play that he orchestrated actually because I don't want people thinking that I just like dunking on players or saying harsh things. You know, I just explain what I see. So in the first play, it's the first quarter, 13 minutes and 33 second mark. It's third and seven here. Kyle Trask is in the shotgun with the five wide set and it go trips left. Trevon Grimes is the far right receiver at the top of the screen and he is running a dig slash post route here. He is coming across the middle of the field and there's enough space in the front to lead this throw. This pass doesn't have to be led out to the safety or the direct middle of the field, but the receiver shouldn't have to catch this ball on his inside hip with the defender barely missing a chance to get the pass breakup. This ball should be higher and toward the outside hip so that Grimes can catch out in front with his hands. With that type of throw, not only is the catch easier, but there's possibility for yak yards as well. It's a good completion, but it's not a great completion. I know sometimes fans of teams hear my analysis of these types of situations and think I'm being harsh or too hard on the players, and I want you to know that that isn't the intention at all. I'm simply pointing out the difference between a good throw and a great one. With that said, we're going to go on to the second play that I'm analyzing here, which epitomizes this a little bit more. On this next play, we have Florida running 11 personnel with the tight end in line on the right and the running back set left of trash. Grimes, the target of this play, is the bottom far right receiver. He is running a post route on this play versus the Arkansas zone. This is a well-designed play for sure as the tight end runs a post that carries to the left sideline. The slot receiver runs a wheel route to the right sideline and Grimes runs a post to the vacated middle of the field. The design intentionally opens the middle of the field so that the quarterback has an easy window to throw into. The problem here is how long it took Trash to throw this ball. I like that he looked off the safety by looking at the left to the, at the start of the play. And he kept his eyes middle of the field and followed the tight end for a couple of seconds. You can see the safety follow that route. By the time he locks on two Grimes, the wide receiver is already running toward the middle of the field. He should have been throwing this ball when Grimes broke to the middle of the field here instead of waiting. Basically, he should have moved on from the tight end look of his uh, route progression here a second earlier than he did and start his throwing motion as Grimes breaks inside. He doesn't start his throwing motion until Grimes is a couple of seconds into the end breaking part of his route. And this may sound like nitpicking, but things like this are the difference between being really good and great. And so as you can see, I nitpick not to pick on a player, but to show the differences, the nuances between being a great player, good player, elite player, like it matters how you do these types of things. So we're on to the last play I'm going to show you. It's in the second quarter, four minutes and 43 seconds before the half. Florida is in 11 personnel under center in the single back set. Arkansas is rushing three and they're dropping eight into zone here. So the result of this play is pretty nice considering that Arkansas was looking to take away the pass here. Florida goes play action, but Arkansas doesn't bite. Somehow, Kyle Trask completes a touchdown pass to the wide receiver number 15. It was Copeland in the left corner of the end zone. This is good play design once again. Copeland was the only receiver on the left side and he ran a seam route upfield. The tight end ran a deep out route toward the left sideline and Grimes ran a dig route across the middle of the field. The goal is to stress the defenders on guarding the middle of the field or that seam route. If you notice, both Arkansas DB number 7 and DB 18 had their eyes on the two middle routes. Number 7 got it the worst though as he was carrying Copeland upfield but then he noticed the tight end. He then hesitated as he considered breaking off and coming down on the tight end's route. This allowed Copeland to get a step on him just that split second. Trask saw this and then quickly directed Copeland with the hand motion to run toward the left corner of the end zone. You just saw his hand come up for a second when he just kind of flicked him off. He told him, go to the left side of the end zone. I love that play because that shows good communication and chemistry between the quarterback and the wide receiver. Even when the design doesn't go exactly as planned, you can still exploit the defense. 
What was also helpful about this play is that the DB number 18 wasn't able to impact this play because he watched Grimes for a second or two in the middle of the field on that dig route, and he was a bit out of position because he didn't really play the middle of the field or he stayed a little bit too far on his hash, and he couldn't make up the ground to influence Trash's decision. So this was good play design, good decision making, and if you didn't notice, great pass protection as well, even though it was only three rusher. Overall, this is good stuff, and that's the play where I says Kyle Trash did some good things. So after hearing this video, learn a little bit more about why I made that previous video where I said Kyle Trash kind of throws it behind and he kind of does it again here. What's your favorite trait of Kyle Trash? You know, I don't want to harp on the negative things. I also want to know what do you like most about Kyle Trash? Leave that in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, check out this video here on the left. It shows you what the YouTube algorithm recommends that you watch from my channel. And if you check out the video on the right, it's the last video that I made. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.